All right, everybody, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the steps that you need to do to be able to use a second display um, with a Zoom meeting. And what that does is it allows you to use either if you have two monitors set up, so in my case, I have my laptop and I've got an external display set up, or if you're teaching in your classroom, you might have um, your desktop computer and your smart board. Whatever your situation is, if you've got two displays, there's a little bit of management that you need to do with uh, Zoom in order to be able to maximize your usage of that. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through the steps to do that. The first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you've extended your display from the original computer to the, um, to the secondary display. So either to your smart board or to the external monitor. And it's only, it, you just have to go into settings. Um, it, whether you're on, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a Windows 10 computer. If you're on Windows 7, then it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it's going to look a little bit different too. But the principle behind it is still the same, okay? Essentially, you, what's most common, especially in school, is that you've duplicated the display between your computer and the smart board. So what you're seeing on your computer is the same thing you're seeing on the smart board. What I'm going to be showing you is how to make it be a, an external display so that they're two different things, okay? So you can see want to see one set of items on uh, your desktop and then something else on your external display. And that's how we're gonna use that to kind of manage our Zoom meetings a little bit better. So first thing is to show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm showing you, I'm doing this kind of a little bit weird. I'm showing you this, I'm talking to this camera uh, and I'm sharing my screen also. So uh, bear with me please if I have my, you have, if I have my back uh, to you, it's not because I don't like you. It's just because it's uh, easiest for me here in this particular situation. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to change our settings, okay? We're gonna change some settings. Uh, so to do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the Windows uh, the Start menu here. I'm gonna click on the gear for settings. It's gonna open up and I'm going to uh, find the settings for display. They're under system, okay? You can search for display if you need to do that, but they're under system there and uh, it's the first option here, it comes right up. All right, so display settings are gonna be here. All right, we're gonna take a look at this in just a minute where the one and two is, but for now we're gonna scroll down. All right, so we're scrolling down to where it says multiple displays. And like I kind of explained before, we wanna extend the displays. If we duplicate the displays, then um, what we're doing is we're showing the same stuff on this monitor as we see on this monitor. So they're both gonna be the same. We don't wanna do that, we wanna extend the display so that one kind of leads into the next. So that's what we're doing, we're having to extend the display. So make sure that that setting is selected and then you're gonna scroll up here and you're gonna be able to manage the displays here. Now for me, I've got my laptop here and then my external display is on the right, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna be able to move my mouse so that it goes from one display over to the next back and forth pretty seamlessly. All right, so if your smart board is up here in the upper left, then you can move this around. So you can move two over, okay? You can put it higher than one, okay, if it's kind of up there, so that when you go to move your mouse, it's just a little bit more natural that it flows up there, all right? It makes a little bit more sense. Otherwise, it kind of messes with your head a little bit, and that's no good, we don't want that. So for me, they're pretty much in level with each other, so I'm gonna leave it like that. One is here, two is here, that's good for me. Uh, if I don't know which monitor is which, I can click identify and it gives me the number in the bottom uh, left-hand corner of the screen, one and two, okay? Again, that all varies depending on uh, what operating system, what kind of computer you're using. So if you're in Windows 7, go to settings, look for the display settings, find out where uh, multiple monitors or secondary displays are located. Uh, and again, you want to extend those display. For Mac, it's in system preferences. Uh, I think you go to display and it's a similar set of features there. So just go ahead and, and explore that a little bit. If you need uh, individual assistance, I can help you with that. All right, so we've got our settings all set here. So I'm gonna get out of that. And now we have our Zoom meeting, okay? So I have started our Zoom meeting. Um, the Zoom meeting's all set up. I've got two students, uh, two fake students as participants. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wanna let them in from the waiting room, okay? So I'm gonna click on participants. now. Just naturally, my participants window showed up over here in the secondary screen. Originally, it'll probably show up here on your screen. And all you need to do is you just need to move that over. It should be fluid. It should go from one screen to the next, okay? So I've got two students in there. I'm gonna admit them. All right, so now they're in my session. So over here on my main display, I see that I have me, student two, and student one. All right, now, 
I can talk to them. I can keep it in gallery view. I can move it to I can move it to gallery view. So this is gallery view now. So if student one had a camera and it was an actual person, and student two same thing, uh, then I'd be able to talk with them. Um, okay. Okay. So I have my three participants, my two participants here, student two, student one, me. Uh, I've got my participants window over here on my second display. So now what I'm going to notice is that maybe a student asked me a question or I want to post a link to the, uh, to the chat in the whole class. I'm going to open up my chat window. Usually, initially when my chat window opens up, it's attached to my gallery view here. Okay. If I want, I can move this whole chat screen over to the other display. So I'm going to do that. I do that by clicking this little arrow down here and clicking pop out. That uh, pops out the chat window and uh, it brings it over here. It might just have it be on this screen, maybe a little smaller, um, and then I can drag it right over to my second screen, okay, and resize that as needed. So there's my chat screen. And remember, I can send individual messages to students, they can send individual messages to me, but they cannot send individual messages to each other. All right, so the class is continuing on. I'm talking, they're participating, life is good. Uh, now I need to share something. I need to share a slide presentation or I need to share a video or I wanna share a website or something like that. I'm gonna share my screen, okay? I have two screens to choose from. I can choose my external display, the projector, your TV, whatever it is that your second display is, or you can choose to share your um, laptop. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen by clicking the share screen button. I'm going to choose which screen I want to share it from. I can share it from my external display or I can share it from my laptop. My advice is to always share it from the device wherever the camera is so that you are looking and engaging into the camera while you're sharing. All right. If you're sharing your second display, you're looking over here and that looks weird. Okay. Or you have to keep going back and forth like this and remembering to go back and forth like this. That's fine if that's how you want to do it. It's just my opinion. Take it or leave it, okay? So you can definitely do it either way. Either way is fine, all right? So sharing my screen, I'm gonna to choose to share screen number one, okay? My laptop screen. So I click on that, I share. Now when I share, my students view, my gallery view goes smaller. Now if I have 25 kids in a class, this is still only gonna go down to like a few, okay? Three or so. So uh, you're only gonna see three. So I can move this window now over to my other screen. Okay, when I move that over to my other screen, I can resize it depending on how many people are here. All right, for me, I've only got the three, so I don't really need to resize that at all. All right, uh, I can choose small active speaker view, I can choose minimize, whatever works for you is fine. All right, there you go. So now I have the material here. So right now it's just my Zoom meeting, it's not very exciting. Let's make it be a little more exciting here. Uh, nope, iPass is equally unexciting. Oh yeah, let's go to one of these things, Zoom Training Academy, okay? If you have other questions about Zoom, you can go to the Zoom Training Academy, you can access it here. And while I am in um, this, while I'm sharing this, uh, you've got access to the drawing tools within Zoom. Now, that brings us to another option, okay? If you're sharing from your classroom, your second display is your smart board. So you probably want to be sharing your smart board screen so they see you writing, marking it up. So my previous advice about it being weird, not looking into the camera, just throw that out the window, okay? Because if you do have this access to the smart board, you're going to want to be able to write on that. So that's going to be your monitor two, display two. So you want to use that one, okay? And I'll make sure I make that clear in my notes that I leave for this. Uh, exciting tutorial. All right. Um, all right, so then I'm done with that. I don't need to share anymore, so I'm going to stop sharing. Now, the other thing that you may notice is that my, my screen sharing um, link board here is, is on the right side. Okay? I can move wherever I want. I can put it up top. That's where it traditionally goes. I can put it down at the bottom. I can have it be on another screen. Whatever works best for you is fine. Just remember kind of where it is. All right, so it's over here. I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, and that's that. Again, you've got access to all of your normal hosting tools down here. 
and you're done with the meeting and the meeting is normal. So that's what you do with multiple screens. Hope that was helpful uh, and informative. If you have any questions about that or anything else to do with Zoom or anything else that you need to do with anything teaching remotely or blended learning, I'm happy to help at any time. Thanks so much. Have a great day.